Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I'm Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're going to be looking at the May-June 2023 Agricultural Science Single Award question number four. There are other questions I would have answered from this paper, so just follow to the end of this video and you'll be able to click on the thumbnail that give you the full playlist for the agriculture science past papers that are answered. Now, if you've not yet liked, share, or subscribed, it's definitely time for you to do so. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. You want to like the video that the video is saved to your playlist, so should in case it's turned off, you'll still have access to it. You also want to share this video so more video of its kind will come to your playlist. Also, we want you to tell us where you're watching this video from and the school that you attend. Well, another thing I'd love to know for you, was this paper hard or was it easy? The May, June 2023 paper. Just another reminder, please be reminded that we're doing our marathon and of course our crash courses every weekend up to exam. Of course, the courses started in April, we're now in May, and we're having these classes three times per day and Saturday, Sunday, and it all begins on a Friday. So seven classes in total. So that is seven times two, 14 hours worth of class for the weekend. Without further ado, let's hop right into question number four. Number four. On a recent field trip to Farmer Mary's Vegetable Farm, it was observed that most of the cabbage plots were overgrown with weeds. Define the term weed. Weed is pretty much a plant grown where it is not wanted. List three harmful effects of weeds on crop production. It lowers the quality they may be parasitic to crops. Example, like the dada weed. They are a pest that attack crops. They compete with the crop for nutrients, space, water, and light. Despite the negative impact of weed, some plants that are usually considered as weed may actually provide some benefit doing crop production. State one beneficial attribute of weed in agriculture. A weed may provide nectar for bee, hence allowing the bees to make honey, and of course pollen, and of course wax, so that is going to be added benefit to the farmer if a farmer is rearing bee. And the fact that the bee is attracted to the field, depending on what he has in the field, if it's plants to be pollinated anywhere on his crop on his farm, then definitely he'll have the services of the bee. Reduce erosion caused by wind and water. So where we would have had bare space, usually there's weed covering it, thus protecting the base soil. Able to, to pull nutrient from deep in the soil that might not be available to our vegetables. Because there are some weeds that have really deep root and they are able to pull the nutrient from way down upward into the layer that can, of course, be accessed by vegetable crop when these leaves fall off and become a part of the crop. Forms home for beneficial insects. So there might be some insects that are probably eating aphids. Uh, there might be some insects that are pretty much carnivorous. Uh, it pretty much provides an area for them to hide, to camouflage, in order to get those parasites or pests to the farmer. Farmer Mary wants to plant a plot of tomatoes during the rainy season. The extension officer visits the farm and advises her that the plant must be properly Supported. So just two reasons why it is important for Farmer Mary to properly support her tomato plants. 
The support will prevent the fruits from being rot on the ground due to the exposure of the dirt and the water and possible pathogens. It will keep the fruit off the ground and away from possible uh, pathogens. It also allows for better maneuvering in the field. It is also very important to ensure that better quality fruits reach the market. Advice farmer Mary of two cultural practices that she can adopt to ensure that her tomato plants are properly supported. She could employ staking or she could employ trellising. A fast food restaurant in town recently advertised that it was looking to purchase a very large tomato for a slicing. So just one other cultural practices that will ensure that the tomato plants produce few but very large fruits. That's going to be pruning. When you prune, the plant will definitely produce less uh, fruit, but the fruits will definitely be larger. Please be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell and select all. Remember to like the video so it will be added to your playlist. Remember to share so you'll have more of this video coming to you. You want to watch the very end so that you will have access to the Agriculture Pass People playlist, Human and Social Biologic playlist, and of course, the Biologic Pass People playlist. Now, please be reminded that you can join my marathon. It comes every weekend. That's marathon for both biology and A to B, and we're also doing the crash courses. Until we next meet, remember to study to show thyself approved. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Get help with CSET Biology SBA Labs and Human and Social Biology SBA Labs at tcp-academy.com.